In electrical power distribution, a Bosch bar is a strip or bar of copper, brass or aluminium that conducts electricity within a switchboard, distribution board, substation, battery bank, or other electrical apparatus. Its main purpose is to conduct a substantial current of electricity, and not to function as a structural member. The cross-sectional size of the Bosch bar determines the maximum amount of current that can be safely carried. Bosch bars can have a cross-sectional area of as little as 10 mm2, but electrical substations may use metal tubes 50 mm in diameter or more as Bosch bars. An aluminium smelter will have very large Bosch bars used to carry tens of thousands of amperes to the electrochemical cells that produce aluminium from molten salts. Design and placement Bosch bars are typically either flat strips or hollow tubes, as these shapes allow heat to dissipate more efficiently due to their high surface area to cross-sectional area ratio. The skin effect makes 50 Euro 60 Hz AC Bosch bars more than about 8 mm thickness inefficient, so hollow or flat shapes are prevalent in higher current applications. A hollow section has higher stiffness than a solid rod of equivalent current carrying capacity, which allows a greater span between Bosch bar supports in outdoor switch yards. A Bosch bar must be sufficiently rigid to support its own weight, as well as forces imposed by mechanical vibration and possibly earthquakes, as well as accumulated precipitation in outdoor exposures. In addition, thermal expansion from temperature changes induced by ohmic heating and ambient temperature variations, and magnetic forces induced by large currents must be considered. Bosch bars are typically contained inside switchgear, panel boards, or busway enclosures. Distribution boards split the electrical supply into separate circuits at one location. Busways, or bus ducts, are long Bosch bars with a protective cover. Rather than branching from the main supply at one location, they allow new circuits to branch off anywhere along the route of the busway. A Bosch bar may either be supported on insulators, or else insulation may completely surround it. Bosch bars are protected from accidental contact either by a metal earthed enclosure or by elevation out of normal reach. Power neutral Bosch bars may also be insulated. Earthing Bosch bars are typically bare and bolted directly onto any metal chassis of their enclosure. Bosch bars may be enclosed in a metal housing, in the form of bus duct or busway, segregated phase bus, or isolated phase bus. Bosch bars may be connected to each other and to electrical apparatus by bolted, clamped, or welded connections. Often, joints between high current bus sections have precisely machined matching surfaces that are silver plated to reduce the contact resistance. At extra high voltages in outdoor buses, corona discharge around the connections becomes a source of radio frequency interference and power loss, so special connection fittings designed for these voltages are used. See also, bus, references, Walter A. Elmore. Protective relaying theory and applications. Marcel Decker Incorporated. ISBN A0-8247-9152-5A, Pascal, John. Ensuring a good bus duct installation. Electrical construction and maintenance. Retrieved April 6, 2009 Electrical construction and maintenance. Retrieved April 6, 2009 A. Assessment of bus duct and their relevance.